Hey guys, so I am going to tell you that there is a lot of opportunity out there right now to buy collections that you can only dream of if you have the cash. And, you know, you're getting collections for half off what they wore from the highs or even lower. Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, basically every single card game has gone down in price. But instead of buying these collections, Alpha Investment wants you to buy Round the Cut Remastered collector's boxes, which is probably among the worst investment opportunities available. So right now, the market is primed. And if you have money and you are in a good space, you can buy stuff. And that stuff comes really cheap. Collections are really, really good. Because they often come at a major discount because the person's just trying to move it for whatever reason. You know, they don't want, and it, it can't, it's not even just single collection. It'll be like a single and sealed collection. It's, they have grown up and they may no longer be interested in the card game. So they want to get out of it. And when they want to get out of it, um, they want to sell it all at a sometimes a massive loss to them and that's okay to them because they're just not spending any more money pumping in and that's the key if i were to give you a piece of financial advice i would just say the collection buying you know if somebody you like is telling you to do something but they're doing the opposite of something you just do what they're doing alpha investment has always bought collections for very little money. Alpha Investment has always bought collections for pennies on the dollar, and he doesn't want you to know this because he doesn't want you to compete against him. And if you can offer a little bit more money and you're local, why not? Why should that person not go with you? In my personal opinion, they should. It's a obvious situation. They, at the end of the day, it's not about branding or youtuber it's about money it's about money when somebody wants to sell and get out um when somebody wants to sell and get out of a card game they're not too worried about okay you know let me only sell to my favorite youtuber they don't have a favorite youtuber at that point in time they just want to sell for the highest money they can get and I think this is very important to know is that the collections that you can see on Facebook or Craigslist, some of the best collections that you will ever see, some of the highest quality cards you will ever see for some time have hit the market because the people who are diamond hands in them cannot diamond hands again. I can explain you the rationale really easily. Um, the idea is when things shit hits the fan and everyone's selling they're selling because of personal reasons maybe medical issues maybe a medical emergency a family emergency a personal emergency you know you don't know everyone has their own lives to deal with and not everyone is a multi-millionaire like alpha investments is it's kind of interesting that um, he's never actually told you how to buy a collection or what to even how to go find a collection how to compete no, it, if it's all about the money, right? Because when your mom is in the hospital, you don't give a shit about alpha investment no more. You just want to get the most money you can from this junk that you bought. And I bet you, you don't care about your magic collection as much when a loved one or a relative is in the hospital. You, you just got to get as much money as you can, regardless of who you're getting it from. So back to my idea about collection, like the Ravnica remaster right now, it's got to be the worst investment I can imagine in Magic the Gathering because you can buy a collection for nothing. I can wait for that dude, that Rudy Chan patron to open all his cards and give him like 10% and that would be very generous on the now basically worthless modern, I guess, standard cards that they have. I have... Never thought that he's looked out for the Timmies. The Timmies have always been... Oh, the Timmies have always been kind of left on the edge. The Timmies have always been 
destroyed. The Timmys have always been the first one to buy Return to Ravnica or Ravnica Remastered. And it's sad to see. It is really sad to see this. It is sad to see that they're still buying into this. It is sad to see that um, individuals are, you know, individuals are simply not in a right place of mind that they don't understand that it's all about money. It's all about, like, no one cares where you bought your booster box from. It's the same booster box intangible item or tangible item fungible item that i have and just because you bought at from alpha investment at a premium because you paid for his 15 dollars membership doesn't mean it he's losing views he's losing membership uh i don't need to tell you that social blade can tell you tell you that i'm gaining members i'm gaining subs like things are really good over here uh tcg con will be fun time to meet you guys i'm doing in-person events now my friend who he's getting the kick now he, he's probably going to open in the store he has a bunch of strip malls so it's not like he has to pay rent for, for them or whatever things are going really well in life right now i can't express that enough things are going really well and things are going very poorly for the timmies and things are going very poorly for alpha investment as he cannot let me, if you've made it this far, I'll tell you what it is, what I believe it is. I don't think he can show Meta Zoo anymore, and I don't think Flesh and Blood players like him very much, so they want him out of their game. So those two games that he was pumping and dumping, they don't want anything to do with him, or, or the, their individuals in the, the fans, if you call them that, don't want anything to do with him. So now he's just left by himself on an island, and the only thing he can pump now is magic the gathering and that's why the ravnica remastered is so important for him to get a w here because he's going to pump magic the gathering again he used to hate magic the gathering and pump flesh and blood and pump meadow zoo but those games again the player base is want nothing to do with him they realize how damaging and destructive he has been he is currently to their games um and even historically it's really sad to see, but he's kind of on the island by himself now, and he has no games to pump and dump, so now he's back to Magic the Gathering, when he's said so many bad things about the game and the management and everything. Well, management hasn't changed, Rudy. It hasn't. 